Feinerman, and this is your Fast Money Trade School. Feel like you're getting lost at sea in the stock market? One tip to find your way, follow the whales, Wall Street's most powerful investors. These heavy hitters have to disclose their biggest holdings. Just check out a 13F form filed quarterly to see what Buffett or Icon have been buying. But before you dive in head first, remember, even whales can get beat. Class dismissed. Associates, Bruce Kovner. Now, uh, using this strategy has done so well for me. It's put me in the top 3% in the most recent CNBC tournament. The returns of over 53%. And you can see how it's done for me in previous tournaments. Now, what we merely do is follow the holdings of the richest, most successful investors out there. And we find their picks through these free websites. Then we get an average analyst ranking through these free sites. Again, I'd like to remind you all analyst recommendations are as of February the 9th, 2010. Now, looking at the holdings of Bruce Kovner, uh, you can see he has uh, GIST, Apple, AMT, Qualcomm, and UNP all coming in as moderate buys at this time. You can also see the rest of the holdings in his portfolio that come in as a hold and sell ratings at this time. Now, looking at General Mills, you can see that this one's had quite a run up and is recently breaking below its moving averages and is now in a bit of stabilizing period starting to move back up uh, against these resistance levels of its 50 day moving average. Stochastics 2 came down close to the oversold level and it's starting to indicate a bit of an uptick but it hasn't quite crossed to the positive side yet. So I'd probably wait for this one to cross above its 20-day uh, moving average before looking into get, getting into this one. As for Apple, uh, you can see this one's had roughly a sell-off for about a month or so and is now sitting firmly on its 100-day moving average. Uh, Stochastics is kind of low near the oversold level so we could possibly see, be seeing a cross to the upside on Stochastics pretty soon. So, so you could see it possibly getting up to its 20 day moving average. Once it breaks above the 20 day, that would probably be a good buy signal at that time. As for American Tower, um, you can see that it's fallen down to its 100 day, and Stochastics looks like it's going to give you a buy signal in the next day or so. So um, if you can get a breakout on Stochastics and a breakout above its 20 day moving average, this one would look to be a good buy signal in the next few days. As for Qualcomm, well, <laughs> this one looks pretty bad. You can see the analysts aren't really up to date on rating this one. You can see that it's clearly in the red with balance of power. Stochastics is way down into the oversold level, and there's no sign of any kind of uptick at this level. Uh, you could call it stabilizing, but you're probably better off just not even looking at this one. As for Union Pacific, you can see this one's had a fall down for about a month and is currently sitting flat just above its 200 day but is having trouble getting above its 100 day. Given that and the shorter term moving average is starting to move down towards it, I would see quite a bit of resistance of it moving up higher. But um, the good point, uh, Stochastics is in the oversold level and it could give you a possible buy signal. So uh, it might take a week or two before looking at this one again. So in review, the moderate buys are uh, GIS, Apple, AMT, Qualcomm, and Union Pacific all coming in as moderate buys at this time. And of course you can see that there are no strong buys at this time. And again, I'd like to remind you all analyst recommendations are as of February the 9th, 2010. And if you'd like a more up-to-date look at Bruce Kovner's uh, holdings, you can find them on StockPicker. And then you can go over to these free websites to get an average analyst ranking. Now again, I'd like to remind you my disclaimer. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed investment advisor, and the investments I am showing you today are what I'm doing for my friends and family's accounts. 
And I am not affiliated with any of the websites used to determine these rankings. And I currently own shares of Colgate Palmolive at this time. So again, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP saying thank you and see you next time. For I'm a well watcher. adventures trying to hunt down the next great investment opportunity for you.